uh, inappropriate subjects to bring up on the date. You don't want to talk about your ex or old relationships because nothing screams baggage like talking about your ex. What about you my wife? <laughs> probably don't want to talk uh, about your wife. Yeah, probably not. Depends on the situation though. Um, you also don't want to talk about money. You don't want to talk about any health problems you're having. Uh, nothing negative really. Guys tend to think they need to impress a woman on the first date. How do they do that? They do that with a lot of conversation, a lot of talking, a lot of what comes across is bragging about their accomplishments. So, you know, in grade eight, I won the award for this and whatever, and in college, I won the award for this. And they just keep talking, 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 and feeding information as if they're in a job interview. Right. So what kind of an effect does it have on the woman? She's just getting bored and annoyed. Is this impressive? Ordering for them at a restaurant? Not good, no. not good at all. No, it's, it's pretty offensive. Because it, it's pretty presumptuous, implies that the guy knows what's good for you or knows yeah. what's right for you. And he hasn't asked your opinion or taken it into account. So that's really offensive. Is it okay to open the door for someone or pull Absolutely. out the chair for them? Absolutely. That's just good manners. It's not condescending or no. sexist? No, I don't think so. How close is too close on a first date? That all depends. On what? It depends on the signals that I'm sending you. Say you wanted to move in closer to me. All right. You'd have to read my body language again. Let's do a little test here. You're doing a knee block. <laughs> I don't think that's an invitation to come closer. Okay, what if I was sitting like this? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you're clearly mm -hmm. backed into a corner. Mm-hmm. And you're not interested, and your right. body language is turning me away. Right, right. He's not sure. He might try to do something in response to the way she's touching Yeah, him. but you want to be confident, you know, like, a, a man doesn't jump unless he has somewhere soft to land, you know what I mean? You just don't want to go into that feet first right. without knowing. Okay, well, if I were interested in, in Jonathan and I wanted him to approach me, I might start touching him. I might, can I touch your knee? Okay. <laughs> I might touch his knee, I might just start getting a little bit more comfortable with him, and, you know, maybe light sexual touching. So if you let your date like take this, the lead like and then you kind of knee. mirror. This is a vulnerable area here. Yeah, that's I'm closing knee. in on the zone. Mm -hmm. So by touching his knee, I'm sending him a clear signal that I'm starting to feel more attracted to him. Well, you're not even closing in on it. You're right on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Size does matter. Well, I'm just saying.